Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, another two minute Tuesday. Today we're going to be discussing. You got your shirt on. I got the shirt on. You got your shirt on today. Today we're going to be discussing open use radio frequencies. Welcome to today's Two Minute Tuesday. I'm Jimmy Jett, and I've got Tyler here again today from My Off Road Radio, and we're going to be discussing the open frequency ranges for radios such as the MERS, the GMRS, and the FRS. Yep. Did I get it? Nailed it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know a terrible lot about this stuff. I've had some FRS radios, and I actually brought some into the shop the other day, and Tyler's mm-hmm. like, what are you doing with those? You're retarded. <laughs> Get those out. <laughs> Get those out. We don't even need those. Um, and so I want to really open the floor up for you to just explain what those frequencies are, explain what um, the fr- purposes of them are cool. and things of that nature. Uh-huh. So if you want to have another option besides getting your license for ham or um, something else we've already talked about with CB radios. I'll put a link up there. Um, this would be another avenue for you to go for. So let's drop two minutes down on the clock. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. All right, so your three different uh, open use frequencies, well, kind of open use. The uh, two really open ones are FRS, which is Family Radio Service. Those are the radios that, they're like your little Motorola ones. They come with an attached, attached antenna and you can buy them at big box stores. Open use, anybody can use them, and you have 22 channels that you can use on there. They're limited to power though, and they don't work too well in mountain environments. Right. So because of the frequencies they run on. The other open use one is MERS, and that's called multi-use radio service. And what that's really designed for is for two devices to talk to each other. So think of a lot of the security systems use it for uh, alarm trip sensor to notify the control panel that a trip sensor was tripped um, for to set off the alarm to let you know that right. somebody's messing with your stuff. So MERS, there's only really five to seven channels on MERS that are open use, but you get a little bit more power out of them. And because the frequencies they run on, they work better in mountain environments. Okay. So the other one that we're going to talk about is GMRS, and that's General Mobile Sorry, yeah, mobile radio service. And what that was really designed for was before cell phones were invented, families could get that to talk to each other as they're driving around town. Mm -hmm. So um, that one, you can actually run more power and you get access to repeaters with it. Um, The downside to that is most repeaters for GMRS are all in metropolitan areas, which is not normally where we go off-roading at. Right. So uh, GMRS is great. You do need a license for it, but there's no test. You just pay up your money and you get the license. It's 60 bucks, and everybody in your family, immediate family, immediate family <laughs> gets licensed and covered under that license. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you can't call the SEC and say, I go wheeling with Jimmy all the time. He's in my off-roading club. He's part of my family. They won't see it that way. So, Tyler, where can people find some more stuff about you? Um, We've got lots of articles, especially on this topic here, because it does get very confusing with all the different options out there. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got lots of different tables with the uh, FRS frequencies, the MERS frequencies, even what CB frequencies really are, what the GMRS frequencies are, what the power usage on all those. I've got all that information on the website at myoffroadradio.com. Um, look through the ham radio information section of the website. Lots of nice little blog articles about the different kinds of FRS and MERS setups that you can do. Um, I've even gotten it to the point now where um, these just work so much better than CB typically that I've now made it. And because these are becoming so uh, prolific throughout the off-roading community that I want people to use them responsibly because people are going to be using them anyways. Right. And it's really important to stay on those designated frequencies so that you're not interrupting uh, emergency dispatch, police dispatch, CHP, fire dispatch, anything like that. I'll put a link down in the description for myoffradio.com so you can get in mm-hmm. contact with Tyler. Yep. So you can just go down there and click on that link and it'll bump you over to him. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any additional comments, please put them below. Hammer down on that subscribe button. Mm-hmm. And don't forget... Keep crawling.